Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and welcome to my playthrough of The Room 3. Yep, it's my birthday again, and just like the last two years running, we have showcased one of the Room games during this special time. <laughs> uh, no, it's like I had mentioned in those previous playthroughs, uh, the Room series is sort of like one of my favorites on mobile, so I wanted to uh, go through the game again. Uh, I've only th I think I've only played the Room Three once, so and it's been a while, so <laughs> it may make for an interesting uh, recording as I stumble through um, this particular game. Uh, and I think this is the part where the Room 3 starts to differ from the ones that came before it, uh, where you were just sort of examining either these little puzzle boxes or puzzle tables, as it were. Um, this sort of takes place in an environment, and you move from room to room, uh, sort of solving the mysteries held within. Uh, so let's start up. A, a new game of The Room 3 and uh, travel through it together. Tutorial. Swipe to look around. Yep. Much like the ones before it, we're going to go through the tutorial ad nauseum, and it's going to tell us exactly what we need to do to get into uh, the game uh, for the first 15 minutes or so. Uh, but it's such a nice train ride. I think I'll just sit here and look out the window. Nothing that I need to do over to my right. I'm just going to sit here. Enjoy the train ride. book. Uh, of course, we have to read the book. Oh, man, we can't even get rid of the tutorial. Uh, AS is gone. Not Agent Smith! He's such a pivotal character in these games. Uh, AS is gone. His entire house is gone. I dare not recount all that I saw. I can't even recount it, even if I wanted to. I would rather that I was insane. You would? Uh, I would rather that I was insane, and that infernal boxes that were, were but a figment of my fevered mind. I should never have ignored you. If only I had come sooner. If only I had not come at all. Well, which is it? I have awoken from the nightmare, but I am forever haunted by it. I submerge myself in my work, as if to drown the memories. But it is of no use. The null calls to me in my sleep, and seizes every unoccupied moment to fill my thoughts unbidden. I am marked. I have continued to petition the Royal Institute. There is nothing about their denials that does not sit with me. Their insistence is too shrill and determined to cover something as innocent as ignorance. A breakthrough, as the Royal Institute rebuffed me once more. An undersecretary with a drawn look slid a packet into my jacket pocket as they passed. They refused to meet my eye as I hurried away. As they hurried away. Well, as we both hurried away. The packet included a page torn from a map of the south coast with an island circled. I leave on the first train. Is this the first train? Ooh, the null element 
from previous games. Ooh, the doorway from previous games. Ooh, the blank pages from previous games. Okay. Uh, we'll pitch them out. <gasps> hey. <sighs> oh, going through a tunnel. <gasps> hey, 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 hey. Scary. I'm sitting right there. Tap the key to pick it up. Small key. I have a key, but there's no keyhole on this box. And it has a slight glimmer to it. Almost as if I need dun dun dun, an eyepiece. The wooden surface looks strange. I should get the eyepiece from my suitcase. Why don't I just wear that continuously? I have no idea. But yes, let's go to the suitcase. So we are going to open. Yes, we get it. Oh gee, I guess there's a hidden compartment. My suitcase has some modifications. I require a degree of secrecy. Yes, I know. We see the scratch marks. Margaret. Uh, come on. There we go. An eyepiece. Tap to wear the eyepiece. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden, just like the other two games. Can I read about Miss Margaret Cox now? No? Fine. Yes, I know the drill. We're gonna look at this. It's gonna make a keyhole. Uh, uh, yeah, we want this over. Just needs to go in the right order. Oh my goodness, a keyhole. Let's unlock. old box that only Tony Stark can design because it has all those hidden neat pockets of space and whatever all right uh, we'll grab this little pyramid an engraved pyramid let's go through another tunnel oh hi well that was a short train ride what happened? Where am I? Um, <laughs> I must must look over to my left. No, I must resist the urge to look away from this door. Uh, all right, I guess we have to go through the door. Uh, nothing secret about the door. I need a key to go in there. Yeah, uh, let's... Hi, can you let me in? Hi, can you let me in? Sir! Guess he didn't hear me. Oh, now I can turn to the left. Thank you. Uh, all right. These doors will open, I assume. I have a parchment here. You were warned not to look for me, but you would not listen, and it has become necessary for me to find you. Welcome to Grey Home, the seat of my ancestors. Seldom few visitors have walked these halls. Fewer still have walked free of them. In the past, I have drawn my subjects from the greatest minds of history. Each played their part. But I'm getting to it, tutorial. I'm getting to it. Uh, in history, 
each played their part, but none outlived it. The Null wraps its bonds around all, all except you. It was a mistake to try and keep you away. I see now that I have great need of you. If you can prove yourself worthy, your first task is to find something that will aid you in your trials ahead. Find it or never leave this room. And I have gone to great effort in vain. The Craftsman. interesting was it the craftsman that just escaped in that other room we don't know i guess we'll take these glasses i guess we won't take these glasses oh, feather poison scroll locket hourglass uh okay uh, anything to be had with the lens? No. So I think we need to find out what needs to go at each of these. Okay. But there must be a clue somewhere. Ah, the poor have me, the rich need me. Whatever could that be? And say nothing. The power of flight the well of knowledge i'm gonna guess that's the pen i did see a pen oh well <laughs> i guess i solved it even though i didn't uh just so that we go through all of it my face is silent without my hands okay yeah it's the clock thank you i get it <laughs> now let's Look at the letter here. It is painful to watch you blunder to and fro, half blinded by those screwed lenses you stumbled upon. Allow me to pry the scales from your eyes. These are instruments of a craftsman. They will allow you to see the universe as it truly is and reach into the unseen infinity of space that surrounds us. The Craftsman, XO, XO. An ornate box. There's some sort of mechanism keeping the box closed. I should take a closer look. Uh, okay. Well, apparently the mechanism doesn't work very well because now I'm opening the box. Hey, look, it's another lens. Snap. Yep, it's a lens. There's something strange on this door. Uh, tap to wear the eyepiece. Double tap the door to examine. Enter the keyhole. Ah, we are going to lockpick as if we were Ant-Man. Uh, oh. There. I just have to get all four lit. There we go. I've unlocked it. Uh, 
That's a big door. Double tap the doorway to go through it. I am going through the doorway. He went through a door of bricks. That cad. How dare he elude me like that. Ooh, what have we here? The key to the null will be forged here. I have given you the first piece. For safety, the remaining four are held separately. Retrieve them and bring them to this font. Only then can you fulfill your destiny. All my love, the craftsman. Uh, okay. So does this go, nope. <laughs> oh, I see, it goes here. Pyramid, what are you doing? You get down here right now. Uh, okay. This an emblem. Uh, okay, I got it. This triangle piece is very. Can I do anything with it now? Nope. It just it's it's there permanently. It's dancing. It's dancing. Ah, uh, let's go here. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna guess the emblem goes. Oh. <gasps> okay. Uh, and we need to match up. I'm guessing whatever gets closer to what the emblem should be. So I think that might be right. Oh, nope. There. On God. Uh, so, yep, and we need the cricket on the. Not quite. Not quite. There, that. Oh, right. The stars are not aligned. The stars are aligned now. On God. There is a room. I guess I'm going through here. Don't mind me, guys. What is this place? I have to find a way out. I have a train to catch. Uh, okay, what uh, what is here that we need to do next? Oh, yep, yeah, we can do a... No, the hands aren't moving. It must be broken. All right, so there's something that needs to go in the clock there. Uh, if there's something that isn't allowing me to sort of see where I need to go, then obviously I'm missing a piece. So let's start with the note. As you discovered on your little adventures, contained within the null is the power to transfer matter across space and time. I have watched you cross leagues and centuries, just as some lesser individual might have might cross a street. But what of light years? What of eons? You have barely even begun to tap its potential. I have charted a world not unlike our own, 
yet incredibly distant. It is the source of the null. I have measured it, even seen it. But I cannot reach it, not without your help. But first, I must teach you how, and you must prove capable of learning. Don't disappoint me, you simpleton. From Sincerely, The Craftsman. Deeper and deeper indeed. Okay, there's something that we can do with this desk. I'm going to say no. I think it's uh, locked up tight here. No, nope. uh, drawer appears to be locked. Drawer appears to be locked. And that's just another keyhole, right? We can't do anything there. Nope, we need a handle. Uh, we need power. So, I guess then we're going to have to go here first. Hmm. Okay, uh, oh, maybe, maybe, I don't know, uh, negative goes to positive, goes to negative, okay, so, positive, uh, negative to positive, positive to negative, okay, so, yeah, we need, that won't work, we need that, uh, so, negative to positive, and that goes over, Oh, that is going over to there. So I'm guessing we need to... Nope, that's not going to work. Huh. All right, well, let's... Where do we need to go here? So if that's going down there... We're not bridging the gap that way. Maybe the, that one. <laughs> Atomic batteries to power. Start the flux capacitor. Giving her all she's got, Captain. Uh, so throw the switch. Throw in the switch. <laughs> There's a tower out there. I wonder if that's the same environment that was sort of alluded to in the room two. You had that little sort of flashback. Uh, okay, so... Uh, and we're going to just power it all on. Okay. I sort of see what we got going here. So we need to... There we go. Oh, this one's too, too high now. Lasering the wall. Hey, there wasn't a door there before. Unlike everything I've seen. All right, let's see what this room has to offer. ourselves a map possibly the map of where we're at oh can we yep we just got a two finger that a wooden gear metal gear no wooden gear 
Uh, and while we're at it, might as well see if there's anything to see with the lens, which there is not. Uh, okay. I don't think the gears would go on here, but hey, you never know. Well, might go on here. Yep. Oh, I see. All right. Yep. <laughs> We're building ourselves a little model here. But what could it all mean? Uh, what can it all mean? Surely this is not unlike a particular dollhouse. Uh, okay, so we need to put something on there to act as the clock face. And is that the only point of interest on this center house? Almost seems like, like it. So... Well, we have a little chasm here, so we need something to fill that gap. And probably just something that needs to be put up on top of this. Oh, there must be another section of the model, yep. Okay, well, at least there's that. Uh, maybe we should go over here. The name of this tower will reveal the way. Is that all it says? There could be something hidden underneath there, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay. The name of the tower. And is the name of the tower dictated by this particular apparatus? All right, so where's the name of the tower? We've already seen that. I see a hint. I see a I don't really care to to do anything with you as yet. Uh, okay. I'm uh, just going to see if there's anything around the table at all, but doesn't seem like it, so we'll go away. Ah. Uh, what? is this place? Well, it looks like the model. Come on, really, don't be so dumb. Me? The pyre, hint, hint, has not cast its light in many a year. Ships need no beacon to warn them off of this place. Travelers such as ourselves, however, require things to find our path. A light in the black. The way ahead is dark. A darkness even the blind can see. You see, because they are blind and they see. Sounded better in my head before I wrote it down. Don't blame me. The Craftsman. Uh, okay, well, let me guess that uh, the name of the tower was hidden in that note somewhere, and now I know where to key it in. Uh, okay, so it said it's Pyre. And I actually... Oh, okay... Uh, so, P, P, uh, all right, so we need, we're going that way, nope, we're going the other way, uh, Y, yes, 
Uh, R, so we need the top one to go down and the middle one to go up. I am so good at these puzzles. Uh, same thing again. So top one down to the right, the sorry, left now, my other right, and that to go up. <gasps> Apparently the name will light the way. A carved wooden arc. Do I spell arc now? Probably not. So we just need to see where this arc needs to go. I believe it's right here. Chunk. <sighs> oh, I forgot to read that. Said there was something strange, but I already know from the trail. Yes, I know. To wear the eyepiece. And double tap to go in to the model. <sighs> I'm now in the model. I un unveiled a hidden message. I do that for all of them. So we'll just touch and hold. Now, why doesn't the other two have have that? I wonder. I can't tap on them anyway, so, all right. So what's next? Oh, I see, okay, so, and I'm guessing, yeah, that circle is sort of like the starting position. Okay, we'll do the hourglass first, that seems pretty straightforward oh, I revealed some of the hieroglyph uh, so down across down and across and scoop nope yep there's that one and then lastly uh, straight down into a diamond? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Another piece of the model. But it also looks like we can lens into this circle piece. Maybe. Uh, cross shape, shaped socket. Something must belong here. All right, fair enough. Uh, okay, so. What do we do here? Can we do anything here? Uh, yes, we can. We can sort of. So where? Oh, I'm sure I'd be given a code of some sorts that uh, matches the symbols. Hint system, go away. So let's continue to keep searching. Uh, interesting, so, uh, maybe, maybe, oh, maybe not, where, I got it, okay, so, Hmm. 
Hmm, I do with that. That doesn't make sense. Can I just make it? No, doesn't seem to like that. All right, well, if I wasn't such a noob, uh, all right, let's, we're almost there. That goes there, and now that works. And we have a wooden model piece. Uh, and... Nothing there. I thought it might actually be something, but it is not. Uh, oh, no, that's just to unlock the door. Got it. Okay. Uh, snake and toppled over A is our coordinates. So let's go back to here. Snake and toppled over A. That's what it told us to do. Ah, I see. Okay. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Uh, so. But that doesn't really make much sense now, does it? Because I know that's for this piece. Uh, but I can't, I can't do anything there anyway. Fair enough. Let's take a look at this box. Uh, okay, maybe we don't do anything with it quite yet. Need something to put in there. And the drawer can actually be opened. A clock, a model clock face. We may have to come back here afterwards. Because uh, I don't think it'll go on here. It does not. Okay, so we got two other pieces to play with, at least. And we'll just take one more gander to make sure we're not leaving anything behind. I don't think we are. All right. Back out of the model. And if I'm not mistaken, this piece should go here. Oh, it's a little house. It is looking for something to put there, which we do not have yet. We will get it eventually. But this clock face should probably go here. <sighs> oh, it's another piece to go into the model. Uh, not double tapping effectively, I, can, I guess. Ooh, who are you? Do I turn? Yep. <laughs> Open that wing up. A model boat. A 
does that song go? I am a model made of a Mary Bodie type person. I don't know. All right. Thanks, Mr. Owl. Uh, okay, so now that we have the boat, we can go back down here. There's the boat. Ah, turn that way. Lock it into place. <sighs> you just have me going all over this model. All right, we'll do that. Now, what do we have here? It is a Widow Mouse. Hello, Widow Mouse. Uh, where do... Where do we need to... to touch you first? Ah, you go down. Those open up. Her chunk and a key. All right, thank you, Mr. Mouse. We'll be going now. Oh, all right, continuing on. This almost looks like it belongs. Looks like a uh, lighthouse topper type thing. So, oh, there must be a section. Yep. Not this. Uh, nope, it's not that. Aha. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it'll work in a pinch. Oh, cages. Maybe the key belongs in here anyway, so maybe we were on the right path. Uh, okay, Mr. Snake. What do we need to do to you first? There we go. Oh, okay. I think we just have to line this up. Yep. You got it right. <gasps> Take it. I took it. A magnet. All right. Uh, and I don't think we need to do anything else in here, so we'll just exit. Okay, getting closer. I think there's anything else from this to be gotten. Oh, uh, where's two next? We're going back to. I think we're going back to this place here. So let's go back in. Uh, 
uh, and see if we can start making sense of any of this. A special kind of key. Could it be this kind of special key? Doesn't seem like it, though. No, it's not letting us. And that uh, magnet is not letting us either. Oh, uh, but the magnet has a little piece on the bottom. So it needs to be indented into something. And I don't think it's something on here. No, nothing to be done on the top there yet. Uh, okay, maybe we need to leave. Uh, and maybe our next objective could be here. No. I am incorrect. this be something? A sphere suspended in a cradle. And I just happened to catch that just looking down. Uh, okay. Let's see. I thought it might be, oh, come on, keep turning, keep turning, there we go. Those little weights, I figured it would uh, all go. Oh, I got ourselves another magnet. Uh, so does this not do anything then? I guess not, we lost it. Okay, I'm, I am being dumb. All right, <laughs> we are going back into Kia. Uh, because they have those cross shapes, they're one and two. All right, so, uh, okay. And then through them, you sort of need to crack the code but I thought the code was... No, no, I don't want to go out. Uh, all right, we're going to continue to look around here just a bit more. Uh, it did say... Snake A, but is that even... Is that even correct? Almost seems like it's leading us on, even though it almost seems like it would be the correct code. Uh, okay, so... Oh, maybe it's down. 
That's it. Okay. So, uh, right, left, right, center. So back to here. Turn that on. Did I... Okay. Both of these need to be up before... No. Uh, okay. I think I... need to be there. You need to be there. That'll do it. <laughs> oh, we got two hinges. Okay, so there's another code somewhere. Where's the other code then? Almost expect it to be here. But I'm not seeing anything coming. Oh, right there, upper right. Uh, so squiggly and cross X. So squiggly, cross X, go here. Uh, left, right, right, center. Okay, should be easy peasy. We just do the same thing. You go all the way there. You go up and bingo, bango. So we can open this up. Yes, yes, we're opening up. A, wood, a wooden model piece. Uh, and this should go on to the outside of that other. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Let's head back to here. Slap it on. <sighs> Where are you taking me, table? Why the ominous music? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, but you know what, guys? I think that might actually do it. I know we were running a little long for this initial episode of The Room 3. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys a good taste, especially it tends to ramp up past the uh, initial tutorial level. So uh, I think we may be sort of on our way. And like I said, it's an interesting take on the series since it sort of introduces moving from new environment uh, without sort of breaking into sort of individual levels. But I kind of dig it. So if you do too, don't forget to hit that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more The Room 3. This has been The Craftsman. I mean, this has been Shim Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by for my birthday episode, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.